Hi Pisces, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings from the Heart. So I thought I would come back with a lovely uh, Valentine's reading. I've just done Scorpio and Cancer. Really good readings they were, actually. Um, so yeah, we're doing Will You Meet a Partner in the next six months? And it's a very quick reading, to be honest with you. It's only sort of five areas. So but for the reading, firstly, we are using the Dark Mansion regular, um, the big sized one, the deluxe version, the Dark Mansion Tarot. And for any clarifiers that we need, we're using the Radiant White Tarot deck. How this works is, let's move these out of the way. So how this works, Pisces, is we shuffle the cards and we ask if you're going to meet a partner within the next six months. Now, according to whatever card comes out on top and how we interpret that, we then look at, if it's a yes, we then ask the questions, what will the person be like? Will you be satisfied? What can you do to make the relationship successful? And number five, any advice or the outcome for the relationship? If the answer is no, we then ask the question, is it better for you to stay single during this time? Question three, what can you do to get to know a new partner? Question four, what can you change in yourself to become more attractive? And question five, advice for further seeking a partner. Okay, hope that makes sense. Let's get on with the reading. So Universe Brick, will Pisces meet a new partner within the next six months? Will Pisces, in one card from the top of the deck, will Pisces meet a new partner within the next six months? Let's have a look. So, uh, let's have a look. So, we're going to have a look only at position at card one and have a look. Now, Scorpio and uh, Cancer both said yes. They actually had aces. Scorpio had an ace of cups. Um, uh, Cancer had an ace of swords. So let's see what you've got. All right. So, it could be doubtful, I would say, because the moon for me is a no or it's a maybe. It looks doubtful for some of you guys. Let's have a look then. Because we've got the moon here, that's how I would explain the moon. It looks very doubtful to me with the moon energy. So, uh, let's rule this as a no. There's not going to be any maybes or anything like that. Um, and if there is something that's a maybe, like the two of coins, something like that, then we still go to the area of no, okay? So, we want to have a look. Is it better for you to stay single during this time? So, would it be better in position two for Pisces to stay single during this time? Okay, so that came out. So, um, one, two. So, there's one, sorry. And then, uh, what can Pisces do to get to know a new partner? That one wants... You've got a few jumpers coming out of the deck today. All right, so there's number two. Um, uh, sorry, number three. Number four, what can Pisces do to become more attractive to a partner? What can pa Pisces do to become more attractive to a partner? And let's have a look. There we go. And uh, what is the any further advice? Any further advice for Pisces seeking a partner? Any further advice? Right, there we go. Okay, so that's the first no that I've had, all right? I would definitely always explain that as being a no, the moon, okay? Um, let's have a look. So this moon I explain as being a no. It's just far too ambiguous, okay? This is a maybe, it's a no. It's like, mm, I'm not so sure about that just yet. Because we're looking for yes or no, really, okay? Nothing like, oh, well, you know, within a month, nothing like that at all. Not just a plain yes or no. Um... So, is it better for you to stay single during this time? And the answer is the devil. Now, some of these, you know, I don't explain the further cards as being no. The devil would be a no, basically. All right? But we can also explain it in different ways with the devil. So, what is the devil? The devil is about patterns of behavior. All right? Um, the devil is about uh, limitations. The devil is about... Um, uh, sex is the devil energy showing here. Is it better? I mean, some of you guys, it could be that you just have fun. All right. So you don't necessarily have to stay single. You could, for example, just have fun. Devil would be sexual, you know, relationships. If you were into that type of thing, you could just, some of you guys, you want to just go out and have some fun with the devil energy here, because that's what the devil is just going out and having fun. Um, and also if you want to turn it around, is it best to stay single at this time? Well, it would be a no because devil as a yes or a no is going to be a no. Uh, what can you do to get to know a new partner? Open your heart to it. Open up. Some of you guys have probably got some barriers up. All right. Also, with the Ace of Cups, in order to find a new partner, there's, there needs to be some healing here. Some of you guys really need to focus on self-healing. And again, this is what I'm saying here, Pisces. For some of you guys, you've been hurt. 
some of you guys have probably been really hurt, really damaged. And when I did a reading for someone yesterday and I saw tower in this person's reading and it showed that this person had walls up. They really did. And they were kind of, they, they, I, I saw somebody coming in trying to chip those walls down. Um, and what happens is, is that we do put up walls. When we've been hurt, when we've been on the battlefield, we've, we do put up walls. So uh, with the Ace of Cups energy, it's all about healing. It's all about self-healing, taking time to heal the uh, heal the, the scars. Some of us have developed scars through battle in relationships. Some of us have been consistently hurt in relationships. And the Ace of Cups is the card of healing. So what you can do... Uh, to get to know a new partner it's got to start from you with the ace of cups energy some of you guys if you want to get to know a new partner and if you're in situations where you can go out and you can meet new people don't be afraid to just kind of come as you are and open yourself up to others i'm not telling you know saying to divulge your life story but don't be afraid to open up the ace of cups tends to open up it's an open book it talks it um expresses so don't be afraid to open up to others with the ace of cups but i think more than anything in order to get to know a new partner it has to come from your own self-worth and i feel with the ace of cups because some of you guys have been to a place where you've been damaged or you've been really hurt it may be that there is a period needed in will in, in which some self-care is is taken with the ace of cups energy some self-care and some self-love with the ace of cups energy um should you stay single at this time we have the devil energy showing here i would probably say a no with that it you don't have to stay single with the devil energy let's just say a no on that because the devil would read as being no in a yes or no reading it would be a no so no should you stay single it depends I mean, you can stay single but you don't have to all right with the devil energy but if you want to get to know someone with the ace of cups number one learn how to open up a little bit more number two maybe some self-care is needed at the moment with the ace of cups energy showing here um what can you do to get to know a new part oh what am i doing so yeah that was the question what you could do to get to know a new partner and also the ace of cups is drink <laughs> So cups represent places where you eat and drink. So go out a bit more, socialise a little bit more. The Ace of Cups, it's bars, it's restaurants. Go out and enjoy yourself and socialise a little bit more. Um, what can you do or what can you change in yourself to become more attractive? Um, you can change the Knight of Coins energy. Again, I keep getting this essence of cautiousness. Cautiousness and seriousness with the Knight of Coins. Some of you Pisces just need to let your hair down a little bit. I know it sounds a little bit cliched and cheesy, but that's the Knight of Coins, man. The Knight of Coins is really, really serious as an individual, and they're really cautious as well. Look how they've got the pendulum. Now, he's got it to the side of him, but pentacles in readings often mean people who are trying to protect themselves because pentacles are used as shields. So some of you guys are overly protective of your person. Some of you guys with the Knight of Coins energy, can you see how the... Look at the horse. He's like... Ugh. <laughs> look at how the horse looks out the horse and look at how the horse is looking at love look at how you're looking at love look at how you distance yourself from love so some of you guys are really distancing yourself from love some of you guys are really suspicious because the knight of pentacles page of pentacles those types of cards they indicate people who can be skeptical skeptical sorry and very very cautious and very suspicious so some of you guys are very suspicious very cautious very skeptical of any new love coming in some of you guys just don't trust. Some of you guys think that behind love comes the devil. You know, people that you can't trust, people who have got it in for you, people who only want the one thing, that type of thing. But the universe, I think, is saying here, let down your guard a bit. Because I'm seeing within the Knight of Coins energy that you're a little bit stern, you're a little bit guarded. And I think in order to become attra more attractive to people, you need to kind of let down this armor because you do have a coat of armor on here. You've got the shield here. So some of you guys have a coat of armor here. And some of you guys are very kind of... Um, I'm not telling you to rush into anything here, Pisces. But some of you guys move... You know, you're, 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 uh, your steps aren't even tentative. They're literally completely at a standstill. You see love, but you don't go for it. You know, you see a potential love, but you don't go for it. Look how you look at the cards interact. Look how you look over at the Ace of Cups with such a like... Oh, I'm not going there. Look at how, you, how your horse is. <laughs> Your horse is like, oh, don't go there, master. Don't move. No, it's going to hurt you. You're going to drown. But the universe is saying there's nothing really to fear. If, if anything is for you to fear, it's yourself. Because you seem to hold yourself back from love. 
So I feel that if you want to, what you could change, if you're looking to change anything in yourself to make yourself more attractive to someone is because what happens is that people often pick up on our traits. They pick up on our energy and the energy of the Knight of Coins at the best of times can be somebody who is extraordinarily cautious and careful. That's your Knight of Coins character, really cautious, really careful, sees an opportunity but wants to kind of sniff around it before it goes through, which is fair enough. But sometimes when people kind of sense that you're a little bit too cagey, a little bit too suspicious, they get put off by that. So maybe, and also in this area here where we said, what can you do to get to know a new partner? These two cards would probably work hand in hand, especially if you're really cautious here and really kind of guarded. I'm calling this guarded here, Pisces, especially if you guys are really guarded here and this is what needs to be changed because what you need to do is open up a little bit more with the ace. So some of you guys need to, I mean, you don't need to be single, the devil, because it's saying, is it better for you to stay single during this time? Well, no, you don't have to stay single because the devil would be, well, it's a no. But what you could do to get to know someone is just to open yourself up a little bit more with the Ace of Cups energy because what needs to change in yourself to become more kind of interesting to someone is you need to take down the guards. You're a little bit too guarded here. Um, and advice for seeking a further partner, Pisces. Go out and enjoy yourself, for goodness sake. The Four of Wands is socialising with others. Okay, so go out and socialise. You know, you've got this Ace of Cups here. Another uh, meaning I gave you with the Ace of Cups was food and drink. You get cups, they're food and drink. Look at the outside here. You know, we're coming up to the spring, summer months. So go out, enjoy yourself, go into nature, just, you know, go out into the into society, go out into, you know, uh, wherever you live, go out to a nice, um, you know, a nice cafe on the river or whatever it is, you know, go out, socialize, cups, drink food, socializing, food brings people together, so go out with the four of wands and the ace of cups and socialize and eat and enjoy your life instead of kind of just standing on the peripherals of life and looking at love from afar because some of you guys think that you're not going to have love because you feel that's you there the knight of coins so some of you guys look at the gap between the eight of cups and the knight of coins some of you guys pisces really feel that love is so far away from you it's unbelievable you actually think oh no no i'm never going to find love no no no, and I don't trust love anyway. So I don't, I don't trust any new lovers coming in. They could be devils, that type of thing. So I just feel that you need to, further advice for seeking a partner is just to go out and enjoy yourself, you know. Just go out and enjoy yourself. Even if people want to pay you compliments, take it on the chin. Just have a laugh and say thank you for the compliment, that type of thing. But just go out and enjoy yourself. This is the card of socialising. The other way for seeking a partner with the Four of Wands can also be joining groups. For example, so this could be, for example, going to, uh, what's the example I can give you? So you've got a hobby, for example. Say your hobby is um, something like pottery. You may want to join a pottery group. You could meet someone there. Say your, you know, your um, interest is tarot reading. You might want to join a tarot group, reading group that meets up every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock at the local cafe. You go there with the Four of Wands. Because the Four of Wands is about socialising and meeting up with others. So the advice that uh, you need for further seeking a relationship is go out and become a part of the community and meet up with people and let people know that you're alive and that you're there because if you stay beyond the borders which is what the knight of coins is here and if you remain guarded you're never going to get to know anyone and no one's ever going to get to know you simple as that all right that is your reading my darlings i'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on carol's universe and have a great day take care Bye bye